Okay, this will be the uh, first 20 questions and answers for the forward tipping dumper IO9 technical test theory. So, the first question What does the Health and Safety at Work Act require employers to do with regard specifically to plant? Supply fit for use, safe and maintained. Okay, number two, list six typical subject areas that should be covered in a site induction. Site layout, welfare facilities, site rules, fire safety, emergency procedures and muster points, responsibilities and legal duties. Number three, when working in a confined area or space, name three hazards that can occur poor visibility fumes working close to hazards risk of crushing and dust number four how is it possible that a dumper can still tip over when traveling on a gentle gradient even if it, even if it is not overloaded and not being driven at excessive speed live load divot in the ground uninflated tire aggressive turning against a gradient number five where should the dumpers operators manual be kept and why it should be kept in the site office for easy accessibility number six what may happen if the load is tipped onto a downward slope the load can continue downwards and hit people or property. Number seven, what determines the minimum distance that any part of a plant machinery has to be kept from overhead electricity lines? Explain why a distance should be kept. The wattage dis determines the distance. The electricity can jump and arc. Number eight, before leaving the dumper, for a rest break after parking and switching off the engine what final action must be carried out and why the key must be removed to prevent unauthorized people using the machine number nine name four different types of levels of disciplinary actions or sanctions that can be applied by employers and judicial bodies to operators of plants who do not comply with or follow legislation and regulations. Okay, they get a verbal warning, a written warning, fired and prosecuted. Number 10. If setting up work in a pedestrianised area, state three factors that need to be taken into account. Signage, barriers, noise and dust pollution. N number 11. State two requirements of using a stop block or earth bank berm at a trench discharging point. Prevent driving into a footing, visual plus physical indication. Number 12. What is the meaning of this hand signal being demonstrated by the tester? Emergency stop. Number 14. Sorry, number, thir number 13. Apart from the operator, who else may need to use the machine's operator's manual? Fitter mechanic low loader driver number 14 give two reasons why the dumper operator should have an understanding of the type of spoil being transported live load contaminated 15 what three main duties of the health and safety at work act must employees follow look after self and others Cooperate with employer. Do not interfere with health and safety policy. Number 
Number 16. Give four reasons that may cause the dumper to tip over sideways during travel. Inclines, soft ground, aggressive turning, tyre pressure. 17. How can a qualification or card benefit a plant operator? Competence, employment, promotion. Number 18. Whenever possible, who should decide the positioning of the dumper when being loaded? The excavator driver. Number 19. Operators should lower the skip fully before driving away, particularly on swivel skips. Give two possible consequences if this is not carried out. Reduced visibility, reduced stability. Number 20. Name three problems that could occur if the skip is overloaded with a dense, compacted material can cause damage to tyres, axles, skip hydraulics, can't tip, load may be stuck in skip, 